Geek Girls Beware, Toxic Masculinity Ahead. Young women entering the workforce these days are subjected to what I call toxic masculinity. It is the snide comments, it's the rude jokes, it's the sexual innuendo, it's decisions being made in the men's room. Uh, it's all the things that the guys would say, well, you just need to get a thicker skin. Um, at first, this is just simply, you know, being part of the gang, but very quickly it degenerates into hazing. Uh, basically, they're continually testing you. And what's sad is that there are some men that will continue testing you until you break down, and then they'll say, oh, well, she's just a girl. So, what you need to do is you need to come up with a strategy for how to deal with this. First of all, young women need to figure out what their boundaries are. What kinds of comments or what kinds of actions uh, can happen uh, that push it from being just sort of a friendly joke into something that you find offensive? Define your boundaries and then practice articulating what that boundary is. I found that offensive because, because it was a sexual innuendo, because it was a put down of women or it was a put down of minorities. Uh, I found it offensive because uh, it implied that I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, figure out what your boundaries are, figure out how to articulate them, uh, and then practice that. Practice it out loud. Uh, say, I, object, you know, I find that objectionable. It crosses one of my boundaries. The boundary is that it was a sexual remark. Uh, I find that offensive because I don't think that's appropriate for the workplace. Practice saying it out loud. Uh, this way, when somebody crosses a boundary, it's not going to be this big surprise. Oh my God, did you, what did they just say? You're going to have a reaction to it. Uh, you're going to know what to say. You're going to be able to say it in the moment. Because the problem with most offenses is that they happen uh, in the spur of the moment and you don't really, uh, first of all, it's hard to recognize that a boundary has been crossed. And secondly, usually you don't figure out what you want to say until, you know, a little while later, a half hour later, an hour later, the next day, the next week. Uh, it takes a while for you to digest it. Uh, most of the comments are the comments that guys would say, well, she should just get a thicker skin. And the answer is no. There's no reason that she should have to have a thick skin. This is an egalitarian environment that we work in, women-friendly, minority-friendly. Uh, for that. So, girls need to practice, young women need to practice uh, sort of my two step, my three step process. First of all, uh, figure out what your boundaries are. Secondly, articu practice articulating that boundary and why it offends you. Third, uh, do this out loud. Uh, practice saying it so that when it happens, you have a response ready. Uh, and that's my suggestion to young women. Now, why is this important to me? It's a question I get asked a lot. Uh, when I started as a Unix system administration trader back in the mid-80s, there were three or four or five women that I worked with. Um, and over the years, I've worked with various women. And almost universally, they've all left the field. They've gone into marketing, they've gone into, up into management, uh, but they've left the field. And various reasons, you know, opportunity, etc. But a lot of times, sort of one of the underlying reasons is that they just get tired of the put-downs and, and the comments and the hazing. Um, essentially, uh, what I like to say is that the women keep waiting for the boys to grow into men, and they don't. Uh, they keep doing their, their boyish pranks. Uh, and I'd like to see more women in the workplace, and I'd like to see them stay in the, in, in, in the workplace uh, in technical roles.